Uh, mechanics institutes came about in the um, 19th century because there wasn't uh, education for beyond primary school and uh, so the, the working classes um, got together and uh, established mechanics institutes where they subscribed, uh, paid a yearly fee and uh, purchased books together and uh, in order to do that uh, they needed a building and uh, by the 1880s that was how it came about in Benster. This building, this lovely building was built in 1889 by a fellow called Yates and uh, Yates was a Benstow builder and this was his last building project. He sadly died a few months after it was uh, completed but he built uh, some of the fine buildings we still see in Benstow including St John's, the old hospital, the Shire office and even the primary school. Well the, the, the library got going in, in as early as the 1870s but it didn't find a home until this building was built in 1889 and over, over time the collection as they got more money the collection evolved um, but in order to grow the collection they needed to do a lot of social things and so the building was not only used as a library it was used for social venues they hired it out for weddings uh, they hired had it had balls to raise money and uh, they had evening lectures i mean a lecture might sound boring but uh, it was a form of entertainment in those years. So they did many things in order to grow the library. So by the um, 1940s, uh, the original needs of a mechanics institute were on the wane. Um, there'd been secondary education provided in Bensdale by the government from uh, the early years of the 20th century. So um, uh, there probably wasn't the need for the mechanics institute to take, uh, do the original roles that they they did. So um, by the 1940s the library or the Mechanics Institute as an organisation was waning and the I think it was the Free Library Service in Melbourne in conjunction with the council took on the on provision of a library 